everybody thanks for stopping by um, yes um, this is going to be quite a quick video I know we've only get we get 10 minutes at a time and because my mouth run is over and I've also got a lot to say but I wanted to create a video of showing um, it I'll probably make three of them so this will be the first one on how terribly aging a dark smoky eye is I'm 62 and I'm proud of it. Great year, born in 1957, and I still have my wiry eyebrows. And um, yes, makeup has always been pretty important to my life. I've always loved it. Mommy was very glamorous, um, although she said she's never glamorous. Um, but she was always the prettiest in the room, she always was the most snazzy dressed in the room, and um, she always smelt so gorgeous. And so I grew up with watching mommy at her dressing table and she'd get dressed to go off to these big events out in East Africa. And her and daddy were very much seen as the, I suppose, one of the it couples in Kasumu. Um, very sociable. And yet mom was very much a home bird. So I suppose we all have those different personas. Um, turn on the charm and we're in our butterfly and fluttering our wings and chatting and you know the bubbles are sparkling and they're up our nose and making us giggle and we think hmm this is how it is anyway I'm rambling on um, I've got to put my glass on to check the time as, as always um, we've got what have I got now uh, oh just under eight minutes so let's get cracking what I'm going to do in this one, I'm just going to put the foundation on, I will do a bit of blusher, but I want to concentrate on the eyes. I'm going to use quite a dark palette. I'm going to choose the, um, this was my, one of my favorite palettes um, that I've, I've used this sort of colors, these colors for probably about 30 years. And I wore them recently at um, a reunion of my husband's and I put them on my eyes and I did the bathroom and I looked at myself and I thought oh, I don't think we're going to go out wearing that you know I, honestly I looked 90 years old my eyes and as she said I know I've, I haven't been very well but no honestly darlings this was horrendous anyway so I'm going to do a bit of foundation I've already got clean skin I'm not going to do much of a prep because I want um, to concentrate on on the eyes so I've got tissues um, foundation and let's see now I'm using the beauty pie great skin foundation one of my favorites and let me tell you it can compare with the best on the market and there's one particular one I use um, that I've used for many years and it costs it's a grand total of 67 or 68 pounds I think it's just gone up to 69 pounds but I could be joking I could be not joking but I could be making that up um, but this foundation what I love about it um, see great skin foundation what I love about it, it's buildable and it leaves just look at this look look at look at look how gorgeous this is and I'm just using my fingers. I'm a more of a finger person. Oh, I never like saying that, but it's true. I'm a very much more of a finger person. I think the foundation goes in better um, because you warm it in the palm of your hand like I've done here. And then from there, you transfer it on the face and you get a better build and coverage. And because it's warmer and it's closer to the temperature of your skin. Please don't forget to do your nostrils. I've seen so many people that do their foundation and they've got these light nostrils. They look ridiculous. Um, you do want to say, excuse me, it's time to put your fingers up your nose. Right. That is my foundation. Um, like I said, I'm concentrating on the eyes now. Um, but I will put a bit of blusher on. I'm going to use the Clinique Colourpop. Love this. Do 
Now, many years ago, when I'd be doing red carpet events or um, doing beauty pageants, I would um, often have the girls sitting there in their crillas, their rollers. Now I've done, I've only done two Hollywood events. Um, and I must admit that was very, very exciting. And then I've done several events in Atlanta a lifetime ago. Right, that's all I'm going to put on my face because I just want you to, excuse me, um, see what I'm going to do with the eyes. I need to get my eye brushes here. I've got a variety. So let's see, we're going to do the. You know, it's a bugger when your eyes are so bad. It really is. And I can't find my little gold brush. I'm always sopping brushes and washing brushes, and they could be in the other room. Okay. So I won't be using traditional brushes. They are traditional, but they're the wrong type. Um, I'll do my eyebrows first, I think. I love the little gimme brow. Um, I like it for its simplicity and it tidies my brows up. Uh -uh. I remember when this first came out and I was in one of the stores in Kensington in London, Boots, Boots Kensington, and um, Lisa Potter Dixon was there and she was doing some of these brows and I thought, oh, I'll come back to see her, but she'd, she'd gone off. And then I'd, I saw her in the bar across the road and I thought, ah, I wanted you to do my eyebrows. Anyway. That's how the cookie crumbles at times, so um, this is a little bit of, you can see my eyes are very, I'm very tired, I'm not sleeping brilliantly well. I'll put this on, on top of the foundation. I think this is, this is essence. And um, I bought it um, some time ago, and it, it, it's brilliant. Because um, I'm a bit schlup with my products. I don't like using all my expensive products unless I'm thinking, mm, let's see um, how transforming that can be. So I, if I'm it's plain, I don't use the expensive product. Right, so we are now, I think I've got about seven minutes. This is all about to show you from my 62 that I'm going to look 92. Right. Where are we? One thing, I mean, Chanel is, is pricey, but this reason why it's pricey. Um, And there's something really special. And when you've got Chanel in your bag, I don't care what anybody says, you feel like so piss elegant and you feel quite, you know, you, you've got something really nice and good. Um, I mean, I love putting the hand cream in. And, I, <laughs> and somebody says, why do you put the hand cream in? I said, well, it makes me look like a flash bitch, you know? So I do want people to think at times that I can afford these little luxuries, which I do. But I, I must admit, um, hand creams are so personal. It's like perfume. You just want um, good perfume, but you want it to smell amazing on you, don't you? I'll put a bit of silver on here. And this. Of 
course I've always got my music in the back, background blaring. Um, I've got to have music. I'm lost without it. It's actually, I did say to my husband the other day, if I played music morning, noon and night, I'm sure I'd be a lot better in myself. Because music is so universal. It brings out the happiness in people, you know? Right, and then this one, I'm just want to put a bit of start seeing a transformation into Cruella de Vil. Thank you. So my husband bringing me tea. I mean coffee. I'm not, I don't drink tea. I do like a bit of Earl Grey occasionally, but I'm not a huge. Now, I'm going to put all the silver on here. Don't forget to do a little bit of whites. It's in the corner. This gives you that little bit of brightness. to South Africa quite recently, well actually it wasn't this year, it was 18 months ago, um, I was staying at my divine friends Pauline and Renzi Baton and I've known them since I was um, 14 and um, we'd only just arrived in South Africa at that stage and um, I was asking them about certain friends, who's who in the zoo, what's happened to so and so and they said oh we don't know what happened to him Lo and behold, he was on Facebook and I looked at him and I thought, you don't look anything like that man that we were talking about. Um, he was a boyfriend of some, it was actually a boyfriend of mine initially, but I went to school with some, well, in Valken there were some real sons, real um, girls that weren't very nice. And um, they'd say to me, I heard them one night say, I don't know what he sees in her. You're so much prettier. And you know, that affected me. Well, it's affected me, I'd say, most of my life. And I don't, I know I'm a very attractive woman, and I know I can really make the best of myself. I'm by no means a beauty, but it affected me so badly and knocked my confidence for life. And I remember somebody said, oh, but she's so fat. A size 10 and a size 12 were not, was not fat. And I think when you're 14 and 16, you go through that phase. I certainly went through a phase. And being a, a very avid swimmer, I went through a phase where it was just a lot of, whoops, puppy fat. Um, and I know when I wasn't writing exams, us boarders were treated to extra helpings 
of breakfast because and our swimming would start very early in the morning when swimming stopped and we had our exams they'd still give us extra fuel for the exams right there you see this is the now i want to show i want to put a lipstick on i haven't brought any lipstick with me hold on i'll be back I am the most disorganized, organized person. Right, I'll just use this one. There. That is a smoky eye that makes you look 110 years older. Yes, I know I've got the pillars in. Um, I got them in purely to keep my hair out the way and I'm not very well and at night I, I have these dreadful, dreadful sweats sometimes and I wake up my hair saturated so it goes all floppy. So anyway, that's the video of how to look 102 with a smoky eye and I'll do other videos to show you how to look better.